Grunting, screeching, moaning, screaming, whatever you want to call it, there is a lot of it going on in professional tennis. We've compiled some of the best, or is it worst, grunts, screeches, moans, and screams for your viewing pleasure, or displeasure. I'm so confused. The godmother of female grunting, Monica Seles, took the tennis world by storm in the early 90s. She didn't have the grace of Steffi Graf or Gabriella Sabatini, but she positively crushed the ball, letting out a distinctive two-syllable grunt in the process. At the time, she was a novelty, but each generation since has produced more and more Seles sound-alikes. Petra Kvitova is an interesting case. Her grunt during the point isn't anything to write home about, but it's what happens after she wins one that makes us want to run for the hills. <laughs> Contrary to popular opinion, men grunt too. Luckily for most of them, their grunts bring to mind less tortured animal and more masculine warrior. Earlier this year, Andy Murray expressed his displeasure with Carlos Burlock's noise level. And while we don't have video, we do have some audio thanks to the BBC. <laughs> Francesca Schiavone is not the first face you think of when mentally thumbing through your Grunter's Anonymous Rolodex, but we always strive to give credit where it's due. <laughs> So David Ferrer may be a perpetual world number five, but we're going to go ahead and give his grunting a number one ranking. Congratulations, David. Maria Sharapova and Victoria Azarenka are the two players responsible for making grunting in tennis the issue it is today. In fact, we've heard reports that some fans are so bothered by their shrieks that they refuse to watch them compete. And if that's the case, imagine how fans feel when they play against each other. Thanks to Maria and Vika, some other impressive grunters have managed to fly under the radar. As the most interesting man in the world would say, Venus and Serena Williams may not always grunt, but when they do, they make sure you can hear it at least three miles away. Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic may just be the Azarenka and Sharapova of the men's side. Unfortunately for the women, the higher the pitch, the greater the irritation level for fans. So we're not particularly bothered by manly grunting displays like these. And finally, after a promising junior career, Portuguese player Michelle Larcha de Brito's tennis never quite lived up to expectations on the WTA tour. Sadly, the same cannot be said for her shriek. As one YouTube commenter put it, every time she hits the ball, it sounds like a little girl fell off a cliff. Listen for yourself. A great chance for Larcha de Brito, who's five for 13. That will put you out of your misery. Thanks for watching Top Tennis Grunters. Who's your number one? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now. Mm -hmm. 
Grunting, screeching, moaning, screaming, whatever you want to call it, there is a lot of it going on in professional tennis.